So George, uh, you've been here a couple of weeks now, so how are you settling into life at Gloucester? Yeah, I mean, it's been quite easy to be honest. I know a lot, I knew a lot of the boys here anyway. I'm very good friends with Chris Harris. We've been friends for a long, long time. We used to live in the academy houses together at Newcastle, so he ha he's helped the transition a lot. And yeah, it's been quite easy to settle into. And obviously a cu couple of games now in the Cherry and White. Uh, last time out at King's Home, your first game playing at King's Home for the home side. So was that a unique experience? Yeah, it's been, obviously I've played it quite a few times for different teams and they're a very hostile environment to play against, but it was great having them with us when we scored that le the late points to win the game against Irish. Yeah, it was an amazing feeling. The crowd were noisy and yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, do you feel like the Gloucester fans sort of, they're like the 16th man, add a lot to the team? Yeah, definitely. I mean, was it 16,000 at the game at the weekend? Yeah, it was amazing. Great support. Something I'm not really that used to and yeah, it was amazing. And in terms of the game itself, what did you make of that? Yeah, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't the best game of rugby, was it? It was a bit scrappy, a bit messy. We probably didn't utilise all the pressure we put onto London Irish. There was a lot of opportunities that we left out there, but we came away with the results, so I think it shows a lot of doggedness and, yeah. And obviously with the injuries to Jack and Santi, do you sort of just think there's a real good chance for you now to get a good run of games in the Cherry and White? I'd hope so, yeah. I mean, I'd hope I get to show what I can do and try and put my stamp on the two shirt and try and lay a claim to take that over. And Saracens on, on the weekend then, how much are you looking forward to that one? Yeah, I mean, they're a very good team. I played them already this year up at Kingston Park for, with Newcastle and they absolutely hammered us to be honest. So it's kind of kind of looking forward to playing with a new bunch of players and trying to put our, put our game onto them and take it to them. And what sort of threats do Saracens pose? Yeah, I mean, they move the ball very well this year. They've got obviously lots of internationals. They're all very good rugby players. They're very well coached and well drilled. So we know we've got to stick to our game plan and try and take it to them. You've got to have your attitude ready. And you finished 2022 with a bang on Saturday. How much are you looking forward to starting 2023 with a bang on, on Friday night? Yeah, I'm excited. Isn't where well, we top top four going into the new year? It's exactly where we wanted to be, and it's exciting to try to see where we could take it. And hopefully take some momentum then into the into the two European games. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Leinster at home. It's going to be a Unbelievable atmosphere at King's Home again, I can imagine. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to European games and the Premiership game this weekend.